Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Anne and welcome to my little family here in YouTube. Um, today is my first time um, back on a sit-down video after our holiday in North Wales. So guys, if you haven't seen it already, um, please watch it. I will link uh, it on the iCard up above and our videos um, on our holiday in Wales and um, yes, uh, North Wales is a beautiful country, a uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful land uh, you, you have both worlds, the beauty of the mountains and the beauty of the sea so you'll You'll probably enjoy it if you go so without further ado in today's video i am going to go through my recent makeup haul purchases these are all um uh, to be honest guys i actually have more than this but uh, since we came back from camping i already opened some of them and you know me, if there's a new makeup, I always want to test them straight away, use them straight away. So I did that. So I have not included that one in here. But yes, so these items, um, some of these are brand new to me. I haven't tested yet. Some are repurchases, uh, which are a staple on my collection. And uh, yes, some are just, um, you know, some are backups. Um, because I don't want to run run out of them because I, that's how I love them so much. So right through, we will dive in. First off is this e.l.f. Um, Dewey Coconut Setting Mist. This is a brand new product from e.l.f. Um, I am actually meant to, uh, well, I ordered the uh, Dewey Setting Mist, the one in the yellow packaging, light yellow packaging, but this one arrived instead. So um, I ordered two of these. I opened the other one already. Um, yesterday, I am on the fence. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet. So yes, I cannot say I like it. I cannot say I hate it. And I, I cannot say I love it and just yet. So I'm still testing it. But the previous one, the one in a light yellow packaging, I love that so much because once you, um, it's a, a very good setting mist. It gives me a glow, especially if it's like uh, towards the end of my shift. I just have to spritz it on my face and then I feel like my, my makeup is feeling fresh again. And um, yes, that one gives me a glow, uh, especially because I have a normal dry, sometimes dehydrated skin. So that revives my skin. And uh, for some reason, I didn't get it. So last night I was... Um, searching on the internet where can I get it so I found it um, so I bought the four <laughs> I know it's excessive but I love that so much I for uh, I bought four last night so hopefully that will be the right one um, yeah but this one I'm on the fence I'll report back to you um, so this one this is a repurchase this is my first love this is my the facial oil nourishing um elf nourishing facial oil this i use this one to um apply as a my primer before my foundation i love this one a lot so i've repurchased that one because the the previous ones were almost out and again this one if you know me you already know that i love this um elf Halo Glow Setting Powder. I love to use this one to set um, my concealer uh, on the on my under eyes because it doesn't leave it uh, streaky, it doesn't leave it cakey, and it doesn't mattify. It's just set it and then leaves me a little glow. So it is is also good for overall. Um, some people use this as a, a light highlighter, but. I don't use it that way i just use it to set so i uh, um, bought two more backups i still have two uh, on my vanity but my daughter is also using this one so we go through this like no, no other <laughs> so yes and i have more blushes from elf because i love them so much 
Um, I already know that I love the, their formula. They're so buttery, um, soft, and it just glides on your skin and it stays long, also a good long hour on my uh, face. And um, well, the first I have uh, Elf, the primer infused blushes from Elf comes in satin finishes and satin finish and shimmer finishes, but don't be scared if it says shimmer because it's not really shimmery. I already um, tried it on my hand, on my arm, swatch it on my arm. It's not really shimmery. So these are the two that I got. I have not tried them on my face yet. And these are the two shimmer uh, finishes. Um, primer infused shimmer blushes in always breezy and always earthy. So I, had, I, took, I bought two shades and um yes i will in fact swatch it for you and um this is the always always breezy so i haven't used this again on my face but i just so that's the color right if you can see where's the camera so that's it right so I'll swatch it on my, so you can see. So that's how it is. It's better to swatch on your, on my, on my area, this area, because it's mostly the same, the, the same uh, like skin tone as my face. Unlike your arms, it's quite different. So that's how it is. It's not shimmery, guys. I don't know why they call it shimmery, but I can't find it shimmery. Right. So that's that's the. Um, shade always breezy in shimmer finish and then we have the second shimmer um, always preppy this one it looks carries looks looks very bright pink but it's not actually so it's a this one is um, I would say movie pink it's cool tone though so I'll swatch it for you guys. So that's it, right? Let's see. So I'll swatch it. This is again in the color always preppy. In like disappear right again. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see. So always breezy in shimmer and always preppy. So these are in shimmer um, finishes. Right. But it's not shimmery. But it's very buttery, very smooth to the skin. Then then right. These two, these are the primer infused blushes in a satin finish. Right, I already have this one uh, in different colors, in always cheeky and always rosy. I love those both, but I want to test out the, the other different colors. I like the shimmer um, finishes. I have not used that one before. This one I've used it already, but not this color. So I've got new colors, always peachy and always earthy. So, right always peachy and always earthy earthy is a bit nude if you can see if you, yeah this is in satin finish just so this leaves your skin a little glow now swatch the always peachy right so that's one that's how it looks like yeah now I'll swatch it on my Skin. I love it. I love it. I'm excited. Of course, I'm always excited. And then, then always earthy. This is very nude to me. Right. Again, this is in satin. So, uh, yeah, it's like a almost like a, a bronzer, 
I like my bl blushes sometimes uh, in that kind of tone. So, you know, those are my new blushes. Those are the shimmer ones, which is not really shimmery, and the satin ones. It's so beautiful. So excited. I don't know why I get so excited with makeup. Right, I'll take that out. Because I look like a... Yeah. Okay, so those are my new blushes. Now I have a new bronzer. If you know me already, I uh, I love bronzer. I like, you know, when you feel like you're washed out after you put on your foundation, you don't have any color. So bringing color back to my face, that's how I like it. This is the Elf Primer Infused Bronzer. This one comes in. What color is this one? Perpetually tan. I actually have this one in Forever Sun Kissed. I love this one, that one too, but I want to try because I love it so much. I want to try a different color. So this one is Perpetually Tan. Looks scary. So this is more of a, like a tan. Yeah. And I don't, I cannot see any red tones in here. So that's why I love, I love it. So we'll swatch it. I don't want to give you a middle finger. Hang on. Um, right. So that's what it is. Right. Okay. So, let's watch it here. Sorry. Right. That's it. So that's what it is. Um, a bit of yellow orange um, tone. So that's the perp perpetually tan bronzer. It's beautiful. I love it. I already know how it works on my skin. Um, it just glides like a dream. So it's beautiful. So the next one, this is uh, not from Elf. Um, so this is the Revolution Forever Flawless uh, me, uh, Eyeshadow Palette. You see my <laughs> ring light, so it's like this. So pretty. First off, look at the packaging. This is not a cardboard or paper packaging. This is a. Sorry, somebody's passing by. This is a tin um, packaging, so you will not be scared if it, you dropped it accidentally. It's still gonna be intact and it comes with a big mirror also which I love I already um, I swatched this on my arm guys so you can see uh, traces of my swatches so but I have not used it oh sorry I have not used it on my eyeballs so this one comes in a big mirror hi big mirror really lovely and these are the color tones so it's movie pinky, a mix of satin, mattes, and shimmer, which is beautiful, right? So I'll, I'll swatch a few of these. So we'll swatch the matte ones. I think we'll swatch Hador, this one. Hador, it's good for the, us an overall lid shade. It's beautiful, yeah, it's beautiful. Yes, and we'll swatch another matte one, something br uh, pinky, sweetheart, sweetheart. So let's swatch it here, sweetheart. Right, so pretty. That, again, that's good for a lead for overall lead shade. We'll get a matte, a deep matte. We'll try the nymph. I think this is one of the, my favorite colors. Right? Wow. So pretty, isn't it? So pretty. So, so far, those are my swatches. Right. And then we'll go for the sheen. 
We'll find a sheen. So we'll start with chemistry. Chemistry. Oh, I hate chemistry. <laughs> right, we'll swatch it here. So it's, it disappears in my skin tone, right? But you can see the sheen, lovely. Right, another sheen, we'll find another sheen. Right, we'll get to the seduction. It's quite deep, seduction. Right, let's right, watch it here. Wow, so pretty. Purpley, almost dual, to dual chrome as well, I think. Right, we'll go for the, um, Shimmer ones. I think we'll go for the crave. This is so pretty. I think it's one of the best colors. Wow, look at that. Right? So beautiful. Let's watch another one. Shall we try fever? Fever? So that's fever, right? So pretty. Wow, so far so good, guys. So I'm really impressed how it swatches, but I have not used it on my eyeball. So the real test is um, when it's used on your, on my eyes, and then how um, it blends and how it lasts. Uh, on my eyeballs well eyeshadows normally last on my eyeballs for a very long time and um, it usually stays put because my as i've said my skin is quite dry even my eye my eye eyelids are dry so what's once it's there it stays there until i remove it at the end of the day so so far these are the swatches of the all, uh, of the revolution forever flawless in allure so this comes in different shades i mean different palettes and different color combinations again i have not used it on my eyeballs so i'll report it back to you how it did I'll, i will actually use this one in in a video um um using this one so you can see how it does in action but so far so good and yeah, I'm excited to use this actually. Look at those swatches, They're so pretty. So I don't know how um, uh, I will come up with um, using this, but I'm definitely excited. So that's it guys. Um, that's all uh, the makeup haul that I've recently accumulated. This um, batch actually came yesterday, which is very nice. Um, Especially yesterday, I, I've been to my um, uh, one of my works and um, study day, um, which was very um, you know stressful. Um, we had uh, it's a very interesting. It's a it's it's actually an update, so we already know what's, what's uh, on the topic, but it, I still feel um, pressured, or I would say. You know a bit stressed um, I think that's better rather than being complacent um, especially uh, we are dealing with live set work and uh, yeah we had a written test and a practical exam which always <laughs> makes me so um, um, pressured but I did very well I think um, yes uh, so came back to these goodies so makes me very happy and uh, yeah, I hope you uh, find this um, helpful if you are looking for a new makeup, um, if you're considering to buy a new makeup palette, eyeshadow palette or blushes or, you know, something uh, new to add into your collection or, you know, what's missing in your collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Please um, um, hit like and share it to your friends. And please don't forget to subscribe if you have if you haven't already. And uh, yes, uh, I am so excited for the NARS, uh, the new NARS foundation, the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. 
So it's going to be released in um, in the U.S. in September 4 or 7, I think. Um, so as usual, the U.K. is always late on the market. So we will, I will definitely be, be uh, buying that one together with the soft matte concealer. So I will do a review and demo of that um, new foundation. And the concealer is not new, but it's meant to be paired together. So... I am so excited for that. Stay tuned for that. And if you're excited, and uh, hey, stay safe. And uh, well, I'm wishing all of you um, are doing well. Um, and okay, well, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.